I had to touch this one. I had to talk about it because this is pretty important. One of the very first discographies I ever did as Cover Killer Nation was an Iron Maiden discography. I did that back in 2010. Did it within a week. It's still, I think, the quickest discography I've done north of the Mastodon discography, which I think I took care of in like three days. It's relevant because Bruce Dickinson, over the Christmas holiday, was, was diagnosed with tongue cancer. Tongue cancer. Definitely not one of the cancers that you hear about all of that often. Not one that seems to be on the, you know, the highest priority of the radar. It's not one that you see very much press about. You don't see, you know, a special color for tongue cancer, so to speak. You know, I would imagine such a color would have to be red or tongue colored. But he has tongue cancer. Uh, well, he had tongue cancer. It was tongue cancer that was uh, discovered. Uh, over the Christmas holiday, and he's actually been going through treatments that just ended yesterday, February the 18th. And uh, right now everything seems to look pretty good. The recovery time is going to be putting him in a couple of months, and he's going to be taking some time to kind of rest, recuperate, and relax. After all of this, this was caught early. That's the big thing. This was caught early. It was not something that was uh, you know, caught way too late, where it had the opportunity to uh, meta uh, metastasize and become something even larger, something very dangerous. Uh, something that could be life-threatening, though we should definitely not rule out anything as of yet, considering cancer is, uh, well, it's cancer. It is what it is. Uh, this is something that plagues a number of people. I've had personal family members uh, die from this disease, and I'm sure that you've had family members and friends that have also been affected by it, so it's certainly no laughing matter. It's certainly not something that uh, should be taken as one and done. It's something that hopefully this is it. However, I think what a lot of people now are concerning themselves with, what a lot of people are kind of fearful of, is what uh, all of the treatment and everything that is uh, really been set to help remove the cancer from, from Bruce Dickinson's tongue, how that's going to affect his singing voice, how that's going to affect his performances, what it may do uh, for that legendary, legendary air raid siren range that has really propelled him to that of legend. And I want to enter in this conversation just by saying something extremely brief, extremely simple, and something that really everybody should feel or everybody should have felt going in. But I think we live in kind of a pessimistic society. It's Bruce Dickinson. Bruce's voice and Bruce's range are that of legend because of its long-lasting quality. The fact that he's been able to do all that he's been able to do for as long as he's been able to do it. I highly doubt this is going to be something that he's going to let stand in his way from doing it again. However, I also know and believe wholeheartedly that Bruce Dickinson is somebody who will want to continue to do that which what he loves, which is leading Iron Maiden, being the vocalist of Iron Maiden, touring the world, and just really kind of enjoying this ride for as long as he possibly can. And he's willing to do that even if he has to do some things to take care of himself. He's not necessarily the martyring type. But at the same time, he's also not someone who's stupid by a long shot. The band has enjoyed a nice, comforting five-year break in between albums, which seems like a pretty long time. I know a lot of us are extremely thirsty for the next record, which some of us thought was perhaps coming this year. However, my plea to all of the fans, my plea to all of the, uh, the Iron Maiden brothers and sisters out there, hi, I am one of your members, just be patient. Actually, give the man time to recover. I'm sure that you, after hearing about this, that's the first thing that's come to your mind. You're not going to be like, where's the new album, Bruce? Come on, I don't care that you had cancer. Where's the album at? I know you're not like that. I know that very few people out there are like that, mainly just the uninformed. Uh, but one thing that they have asked is for, you know, patience for a little bit of care, a little bit of uh, distance, you know, give the man time to recover, give the man time with his family, give the man time to become the Air Raid Siren, the Bruce Dickinson, the man, the myth, the legend, the individual who is the front man, the lead singer, 
the rising force behind Iron Maiden. And I think that's a pretty simple request to abide by. For now, I think the best thing to do, for now I think the best way that you can perhaps, you know, push his way toward recovery if you're, if you're into that sort of stuff, if you're into that sort of, you know, if you do certain things to, to push someone toward recovery, it will happen. Every one of you who's an Iron Maiden fan who's watching this video, play some Iron Maiden today, play it tomorrow, play it the next day, play a little bit of Maiden each and every day. Send those sound waves into the air. That way Bruce, while he's resting, while he's relaxing, while he's getting his strength back, maybe if you believe just hard enough and the shit isn't fake and, you know, legendary and all that crap, maybe all of the sound waves will come to Bruce Dickinson and he will heal. Maybe not. But do it anyway. Iron Maiden's one of those bands that you deserve to play at all times. They're a legendary group. They are one of the foundations for many of the elements of metal that a lot of you guys clamor for me to talk about, like power metal, for example. Uh, but for New Wave of British Heavy Metal, for heavy metal in general, I mean, we just celebrated Black Sabbath, you know, their 45th birthday, essentially, of their debut album. Do something for Iron Maiden now. Do something for Maiden. Maiden. Bruce, my hopes that you have a speedy recovery, brother. Uh, I hope that everything goes well, and I hope that you are uh, just as good, if not better, than you were before. Uh, to your family and everybody, I uh, just ask, uh, get the man what he needs, and you'll be rewarded. The fans will be here. We'll be waiting for you, buddy. So, we'll see ya. My cat is also an Iron Maiden fan, so do it for mittens.